Welcome everybody to your weekly energy update and boy, boom, we start off this week on October 9th with a huge full moon in Aries. It's going to be at 1454 Mountain Time here in the US, which would of course be 254 p.m. in the afternoon, so you can adjust it to wherever you're at in the world. And full moons are a great time for a unveiling and letting go type of ceremony. And to make the most of the energies, you do want to do it like eight hours before the full moon hits. It's like you're preparing the things that you're getting ready to let go and you can take advantage of this beautiful releasing energy of the full moon that eight hours before that time. Uh, you also can make the most of this energy by focusing on those themes that cover the Aries energy. You know, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, so it is about birth and early childhood challenges. So some things there you can look into for releasing. Uh, it is uh, ruling over the human body and the ego, our image, our identity, those types of things. Also, our individuality, rather than of a group, it's about us being our own and our freedom. Uh, also, you know, it has to do with abandonment and loneliness, you know, with being left to ourselves. And of course, with the Aries fiery energy and it being the first sign, it is about new directions, uh, radical change. Uh, also, all this fiery energy, uh, where are you focusing it? How is it flowing? Uh, there is also this theme around timing and having patience with the divine timing, right? <laughs> and of course, this fiery energy is about competition, controlling, which equals drama. So for, you know, this reading, we're going to look at those energies. And as far as the physical body, Aries rolls over like the eyes, the ears, the brain and everything that relates with the head. So, uh, you know, when we're looking at what we want to release, uh, anything around those themes will make it even more for us. So, uh, you know, definitely enjoy the process. Enjoy this moon. It's a wonderful time of renewal and release uh, for this reading we're just going to be asking creator and spirit what they'd like us to know about what we are ready to let go of what aren't we seeing that we are ready to release so of course i'll have a reading for each individual zodiac sign and we're going to jump into yours right now all right libras this is your weekly energy update and we're going to start off by pulling a card here from the power of surrender deck any of the cards i use in a reading i do list in the description box below so if any of them catch your eye and you'd like them for yourself you know where you can pick those up so we'll use these power of surrender find out what creator and spirit want you to know about what you're ready to let go of let's take a look here all right, one more time. That was kind of a, a mediocre shuffle. <laughs> there we go, much better. <laughs> All right, so for our Libras, what would you like them to know? What are they ready to surrender? Okay, they do want this one right there. You've got surrender the habit of people pleasing. Hallelujah, Libra, right? You're ready to let that go. And it says, speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. So I do like that. So you definitely are having this balance, right? Libra, you're all about the masters of balance. So instead of giving all of yourself away, um, for everyone else, you're coming to this nice balance where for like this week, it's about uh, going overboard. Go ahead, go overboard and, and do things for yourself because you are going to come back to this nice balance um, instead of being out of balance in either of those directions. Uh, we're also going to pull a card here from the Into the Lonely Woods deck and see what else they'd like you to know about this uh, Putting yourself first and this balancing. They've already made the card known, so we will jump into that. <laughs> and you've got the time to move on. Yep, flutter, flutter. Um, I do like this for you because not only is it a master number 22, which does have um, this energy around you um, connecting higher to your truer self, uh, to that which really makes your heart sing, 
for that, uh, you know, really that passion that's within your own heart and that you're stopping trying to live up to, you know, like living someone else's dream, trying to do what you think you're supposed to and should do and need to. And you wake up in the morning and go, oh, crap, I got to go live my dream today. <laughs> you know, so instead of this, you become this freedom. You you are uh, moving on to choosing what is more in alignment with what makes your heart sing instead of what makes your heart feel caged. So let's see what else it has to say here. It says, there is sorrow when someone no longer feels the way they once did about you, but no, you lit a light in their lives. Even though the time has passed for your tales to intertwine, the loosening of the bonds of love need not be bitter. For now, you must take your leave to refine who you are next to become. You will not be lost when you follow the darkening path into the unknown. You will wander, but there are fragments of your soul waiting for you to find them along the way. Be content with the light you carry within and the light you have lit with others. These will be the guides on the mysterious path before you. Yeah. So I kind of feel like the there's this tower energy, which means that uh, things get removed out of our lives for us to expand and make room for what is next uh, is next yet to come. So like it mentioned here, there might be some sorrow of like someone left out of your life or maybe you lost your job or something where it's like this th uh, this major thing happened. But I kind of feel like it's like a toxic relationship, right? If you like hate your job and you, you're not living your dream, but you're afraid, you don't know what else to do, you don't think you'll find another job and make enough money to survive and all this, you'll stay in that kind of toxic relationship with your job until they terminate you. And then you're like, thank God someone did. Now I'm forced to move on to what is more in alignment with my path because I, the fear was keeping me from doing it. Same thing with a relationship, if it's a toxic relationship or a dead relationship. Sometimes it takes them going, I just can't take it anymore. And you're like, oh, thank God you mentioned it. I didn't want to be the one to break up, but since you broke up, yay, you know, <laughs> you try not to smile and cheer as they tell you that you're like, oh, oh, <laughs> and sometimes it does hurt, of course, um, but it's that f the reason it hurts is because it's a, a fear pain that's pricking in your heart, thinking that you won't find love again, but guaranteed you will trust me. All right. Let's also we're going to pull from these spirit song tarot. Which you, uh, if you've been attending any of my live sessions, you might see me use these already. That's a new deck along with this too. If you haven't heard, I have started going live every single day offering free readings. I know, um, on YouTube uh, mostly. So between uh, on Sundays through Fridays, I am on the evenings at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Saturdays, I do push it back an hour to 8 p.m. Mountain Time because I'm also on Instagram on Saturdays at 5 p.m. And then on Friday, Saturday, Sunday mornings, on Friday and Saturday, I'm on at 11 a.m. Mountain, and then Sunday's 10 a.m. So if you haven't come and said hi yet, you know, come and check it out and uh, get a free live reading. All right. So let's see what else Creator and Spirit have for all you Libras. All right. <laughs> well, here you go. You've got two already. <laughs> All right, so what else for our Libras, please? Okay, and okay, they want that one and this one. Okay, <laughs> so let's get these scooched out here and we will look at these. We'll start with this one here and you have the page of crystals, which would be the page of pentacles and the page of pentacles. Pentacles is about your outside world and the page of pentacles is about new opportunities opening up in the outside world and new communication coming in too. So uh, I love that this moving on and moving into this new direction, it's definitely in alignment with that, meaning that there are these new opportunities that are opening up because you are releasing this uh, 
you know, people pleasing, the habit of sacrificing yourself for everyone else. And because you're doing that, your energy is returning to you and it's really opening up here. Because you also have the seven of shells, which would be the seven of cups in the standard tarot, which represents multiple different choices. Instead of feeling, um, I mean, I guess feeling like you have to feel a certain way about a certain situation, this is saying that you are wide open. You're realizing that uh, everyone that said this is how you are supposed to feel when you are going through a certain situation that you don't have to. That's just an opinion that you get to choose uh, what you are wanting. And I kind of feel like this is also like uh, uh, relates to this dreaming where you have to do this certain job, do this certain career you know, date this type of person, be with this, blah, 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 that you're realizing that uh, rather than it being a menu, you have to choose one thing off of. It's a buffet. You get to go and choose what you want for your life. And you're the one that gets to choose. It's not someone going along with you. You're not a child anymore where a parent's there going, what do you want? Let me, let me make your dish and make your plate for you. It's like, no, you're the one in charge of choosing what you want in your life now. You get to go fill up your plate. <laughs> I must be getting hungry. So, so you have the two of feathers as well, which is great. It's the two of swords in the standard tarot, which is all about decisions and making choices. You know, there are these, uh, you know, forks that you're coming to, you know, the two and the two here. It's like you have these a boatload of choices that are coming um, and they ask you to close your eyes to see clearly try not to make choices strictly out of the logic and the mental all those thoughts and beliefs in your head close your eyes trust your gut trust your intuition trust your you know that passion and make decisions with that because when we did what we always did we get what we always got and when we're looking at you know well this is what i i'm i'm supposed to do and you get in it and you're like bored to death I remember waking up going oh crap i gotta go live my dream you don't want to go back into that same situation again. I mean, if you do, you do, because you'll come back to that again anyway, because what's meant for you will always come back around anyway, right? So these decisions that are coming up, they're asking you to choose your passion rather than the logic. Yeah. You have the world card, perfect card. It not only does it mean victory, but it means the ending of major cycles and ready to go on a new adventure, leaving old ways, old habits behind, and you're ready to leap off on this new adventure and do things differently. So perfect card to come in here with all those. And you have the Empress, perfect. It's new birth, mother nature, mother nurture, nurturing yourself, but it is about birth and new things coming forward too. So you have the end and the new beginnings coming in, this birthing of something new in your life, which is so much more in alignment um, with your life than what you were doing previously. We're also going to pull here from the second deck that I purchased, which is the Tarot of Dragons. And we'll see what else they would like you to know here. One more. All right. So what else for our Libras, please? What else would you like them to know about this new adventure? Okay, actually do want all four of those. So we will put these over here and start with this one that made itself known as I mess up all the other cards. Let's just make them look pretty. Okay, and you got the Eight of Pentacles. Exactly. So that pentacles is about your outside world and the eight is about moving on up. Uh, you know, it's like being an apprentice and then you're ready to become the master. It's being an assistant manager, moving up to the manager. It's been in school forever and you're graduating with your masters. You know, this is about movement up in the outside world and you are so ready for it, which makes sense with everything we were talking about, right? You're ready to uh, not keep working like a workhorse you're ready to move to a new uh, a new experience a new level um, and that can mean moving relationships in the outside world it could be moving jobs it can be moving homes out of state nation whatever it might be there is this change that um, is coming that don't worry you're the one that's implementing it because you're tired of this and you're ready for this and so you're ready to fly <laughs> you're ready to make a break for it uh, so this is perfect and then 
you have the Knight of Cups. So talk about movement. All knights are horses generally, and it's about movement. Uh, the Knight of Cups is about emotion, because cups are emotions. But all knights have a quest, and that uh, Knight of Cups is in quest for the Holy Grail, for the chalice that's full of the unconditional love of the creator of all things, of the upper worlds, the higher realms. And that's where you find, you know, the search for your passion, for your true heart's desire, I feel is what this night is representing here. Because you're tired of trying to live up to all those expectations and people pleasing of the outside world because no matter if you feel like you do it's never enough they're always disappointed in one way or another at some point and so you're really realizing that it's time to live for you you know they're reminding me of uh i learned that uh, a big lesson with that when the first time i was in my early 20s and i was attempting to grow facial hair i'd been on vacation um, for about 10 days and I came back and I didn't shave at all during that time and I had what was an attempt of a, of a goatee <laughs> and people oh my god you, th you would think I, I broke a, a law because uh, this ripple that went across to, you know all the cubicles in the cubicle city that I worked in they were like oh my god yeah I like you better clean shaven other people like hey cool goatee it looks great other people you should have a full beard other people you yeah, know you should just grow you know um, those uh, what do they call them the long sideburns um, what do they call them uh, I don't know. I can't think of it right now, but it's like uh, something to do with like mo motorcycle. It's uh, I forget, but you know what I'm saying? The long, big sideburns that were famous back in the 70s or 80s. And, um, you know, but everyone had a different opinion about my face and my facial hair. And it was unbelievable. I had no idea, uh, but it showed me that I wasn't going to be able to please most of those people. Um, you know, if I shaved, then everyone else that wanted me to have facial hair and all these different different ways we're going to be unhappy so I decided I get to wear my facial hair the way I want to and that's kind of what you're realizing here <laughs> you can have as much facial hair as you want <laughs> and then you have the queen of swords so perfect swords are your thoughts your beliefs your mindsets your attitudes your expectations and she is the balancer because not only does she roll over the air uh, all the queens get a portion of water. So this is balance between heart and mind. So we were talking about that, about getting into your heart um, uh, and balance that with your mind. Um, you know, we already talked about the balancing out of things. And so here comes a wonderful example of that um, for you. So in the decisions that you're making going forward, like we talked about with the two of swords, um, don't make decisions strictly out of your mind. Bring in your heart and your passions as well. And then your final card is the Two of Swords. <laughs> what we were talking about. So uh, reiterated several times here. Balance your heart and your mind. Uh, close your eyes so that you can truly see where it is that you want to go. Uh, trust your gut, trust your instinct, your intu instu uh, wow, your intuition and your third eye. Um, and uh, it's going to take you into beautiful, beautiful places. And it frees you uh, definitely from this habit of trying to please other people. Because you're not going to be able to please any of the people all of the time and not one person any of the time <laughs> so uh, just know there's freedom that comes through this experience i do love this for you libras if you are looking for more messages of love from above in addition to these weekly energy updates i also put out monthly readings for each individual zodiac sign and a few other types of videos throughout the month so if you don't want to miss out on any of those and get updated immediately when they become available if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button then also clicking the subscribe button will give you access to the notification bell when you go in there there is an option for all if you select that then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out and also be notified when I'm going live so uh, also doing those things 
It does help my channel grow and it also helps spread the Zen love because when you like or share a video, uh, when you comment on one of my videos, and if you subscribe to my channel, doing those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy happy it does want to automatically share the videos of this channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, uh, please know I'm very, very grateful for that. Also, these are general readings, and if you're looking for even more specific information and specific answers for your life, your specific life, <laughs> specific, specific, um, I do offer personal readings. Uh, my recorded personal readings also are on a sliding price scale, which means that you can choose between three different prices, um, so you can choose one that's more alignment with your budget at the time, so offers some great flexibility. If you're interested in any of that, it's all listed in the description box of this video below. All right, Libras, as you go through this amazing adventure, this freedom that comes so you can go live your dream, please know every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing week. We'll be talking soon. But in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.